today we are going to see about hund's rule what does it mean by hund's rule orbitals of same energy already we know about orbitals what are the orbitals s orbital p orbital d orbital or f orbital any orbital uh, orbitals of same energy orbitals any orbitals having same energy the electrons which is present in the orbitals the electrons which is present in the orbitals do not start pairing do not start pairing until all these um, electrons are singly occupied or partially filled until all these orbitals are singly occupied or partially filled okay and this is known as hund's rule orbitals having same energy and electrons are present in those orbitals do not start pairing until all these uh, electrons are singly occupied or sorry until all these orbitals are singly occupied or partially filled so uh, if i give one example means you can know about this rule clearly okay for example uh, we will take one element nitrogen element what does the symbol for nitrogen n and what is the atomic number for nitrogen atomic number for nitrogen is 7 so how you have to write the electronic configuration if you have any doubt to write the electronic configuration means in the previous video i told you about the uh, electronic configuration according to the increasing level of in increasing energy level of electrons i will give the link in the description if you see that video means you can know about clearly how to write the electronic configuration now for hund's rule we are taking one element nitrogen element its atomic number is 7 we are going to write the electronic configuration 7 means how we will write uh, first one s orbital how to fill how many electrons is filled in one s orbital two electrons so one s two then two s orbital will come in s orbital how many electron totally it will be filled 2 so 2 plus 2 4 already filled next orbital what will come 1s 2s 2p orbital will come so balance how many electrons is here here totally seven electrons is here two already present two already present four five six seven balance three electron how to fill so in the p orbital the balance three electron is filled okay So there are totally seven electrons because the atomic number of nitrogen is seven. We have to write the electronic configuration in one s orbital. Two electron is filled in two s orbital also. Two electron is filled in two p orbital. The balance three electron is filled. So count now three plus two plus two seven. So the electrons are filled completely. Okay. Now the electronic configuration of nitrogen is what one s two two s two. 2p3. This 2p orbital I already told you. The p orbital have three types. What are they? What are they? I said p x, p y, and p z. I said. So this 2p orbital also split into 2p x, 2p y. And two p is z. Okay, now we are going to write the electronic configuration for this nitrogen according to Hund's rule. Okay, what I said Hund's rule: the orbital of same energy level. See here, two p x, two p y, two p z. These three also having same energy level. Yes or no? Yes. Two p three means. uh the same only so the 2px 2py 2pz these three orbitals having same energy here i said no orbitals having same energy and electrons do not start pairing the electrons will be singly occupied or partially filled so here how the electrons are partially filled we are going to see now come here for nitrogen what i said Atomic number seven. How we are writing the electronic configuration? One s two, two s two, and two p three. This one two p x, two p y, and two p z will come. So we are going to write the box 
this is 1s orbital and this is 2s orbital here 3 box will come why 3 box will come because for 2px for 2py for 2pz now see in 1s orbital how many electrons are filled uh, 2 electrons so one electron is in clockwise and another electron is in the anti clockwise in 2s orbital how many electrons is filled uh, 2 electrons so as you should one electron is filled in the increase uh, sorry clockwise direction another one is anti clockwise direction now 2px 2py 2pz here how many electrons are there three electrons so you have to write first you have to fill the clockwise direction 1 1 1 that's all the three electron was filled if supposed here 4 will come means the balance electron will come in the anti-clockwise but here only 3 electrons is present so these 3 electrons are clockwise direction and this is the electronic configuration according to Fund's rule for nitrogen. Another one example I will return you can understand easily now another element we are taking oxygen what is the symbol for oxygen element? O is the symbol and what is the atomic number for oxygen 8 is the atomic number now you have to write the electronic configuration for this oxygen what is the electronic configuration first which orbital will come 1s orbital so 2 electron will fill it 2s2 2 electron is filled next to 2p how many electron we calculate 2 plus 2 4 totally filled up in p orbital how many electrons will fill it up totally 2 plus 2 4 so here totally 8 8 minus 4 balance 4 so 2p 4 will come okay 2p 4 will come this how ma'am we will write for uh, p, p orbital 4 in s orbital how many electron will fill it p orbital how many electron will fill it totally totally s orbital contain 2 electron p orbital contain 6 electron d orbital contain 10 electron and f orbital contain 14 electron this is the basic rule s2 p6 d10 and f14 okay this is the basic term um here what is the atomic number of this element according to that we will fill the electrons in the orbital so here 1 s2 2 s2 2 plus 2 4 so totally the atomic number is 8 so 8 minus 4 which is equal to 4 so the balance 4 will present here now write the box according to the Hund's rule we have to write first box 1s 2 2 plus 2 the electron 2 electrons is present here in the clockwise and anti clockwise direction and second box is 2s 2 First is present in clockwise, another one is present in anti-clockwise. Next one is what? 2P4. I already told P is divided into three types. Px, Py and Pz. So, three box we have to write. 1, 2 and 3. So, here you have to write this is for Px orbital, this is for Py orbital and this is for Pz orbital. Now, 4 electrons you have to write. How many 4 electrons? First you fill it, singly occupied only, partially fill it. So, 1, 2, 3, the balance another one electron will come here in the x orbital. So, here, clockwise and anti-clockwise direction, we fill it. Okay, I will give you the homework for fluorine. You write the electronic configuration, find out what is the atomic number for fluorine and write the electronic configuration for fluorine.